there was definitely a lot of snakes. Um, there was definitely like a ton of spiders. I remember there was this one area where there were spiders that were just like, like the size of a dinner plate. Um, and they lived in these people's houses. Like there were these huge, uh, like, okay, a smaller dinner plate, but I, I mean, it's like a good, like that big. And the, the people would like catch flies or like, you know, see insects and they would catch them and like throw them into the web for these spiders. Like they like had them as pets. So that was weird. You know, that was kind of crazy. It's huge spiders. Um, <laughs> there were tons of bats, tons of bats, tons of lizards. I mean, I remember a lizard that was like that big that was just in my house one night when we got home and it was in a, it was in like a coastal kind of region. Um, every once in a while you'd see like a, a sort of like, they had, I don't even know what the, the translation is in, in English, but it's taquasin. It's like a, like kind of like a coyote fox kind of thing. And they had those, so those were like uh, around. But they didn't have like big animals like bears or anything. I saw like one deer on my mission, just like one time in the middle of the night. And uh, there's a ton of dogs, there's dogs everywhere. And they have like a few cats, but mostly dogs because like they're just stray. And so then, you know, they like mate and there's tons more dogs and they're all just like super malnourished. You can see their ribs and people like kick them and throw rocks at them. And so they're just like all kind of afraid of people. So that's like, that was kind of weird. There's just dogs everywhere. But uh, there were a ton of mice, a ton of mice and like rats. There was a rat in my house once that, uh, that we killed because it would like eat our stuff. And uh, one night we were sitting there taking numbers at, at, uh, at night and we hear something like on the fridge and I'm like, that's the rat. So we run over and hit the fridge and we hear it jump off and it starts like scurrying away. So my companion grabs a broom and he like hits it back towards me and I grab a broom and we just like killed it with brooms. It was crazy. The broom splittered it into like three pieces and it was just crazy and you know, like we weren't being like cruel or anything, but like the rats can carry diseases and fleas and stuff. So we were just like trying to get it. Cause you know, it would get into our house if like we didn't kill it. Cause they can climb, like go under the doors, the metal doors. There's not like a lot of weather stripping or like airtight sealed kind of stuff down in El Salvador. So, uh, yeah, that happened multiple in multiple houses where there were rats or mice and you'd have to like kill them. One kind of gross story is one time we remember in my house, it was just like the grossest smell. I was like, I've taken out the trash. Like it must be the neighbors. I was like searching through everywhere, but it smelled like rotting. So after like three weeks of that, we finally find underneath, they've got these things called pilas in El Salvador that are like concrete boxes of water. And then on each side, it's got like a wash basin where you can do your dishes or your laundry. And, um, well, on one of the sides we had like a dish holder for like dishes so they could dry and for like silverware, but it kind of like filled up the whole thing. It was like flush with the back and with the sides. And I remember I was like looking at it and I saw like a little thing like coming up out of the back and I picked it up and there was a rotting like maggot infested mouse and it had been under our dishes the whole time. And I was just like, Oh my gosh. I like called my companion. He comes over and he's just like, Ugh! like he was going to throw up and it was the grossest experience. Oh, it was so, so, so gross, but I got that cleaned up. So there's like tons of mice ants everywhere. If you ever left like your, uh, your cereal out, they were like, there's these tiny little like clear ants and they just like form these lines and they all follow in the same line. So sometimes it's kind of fun to like run your finger through the line and then they'd like all go crazy and they had no idea what to do. They'd like communicate and get back together, but they could like eat through cardboard and eat through like the plastic in your cereal box. So you had to put anything that you didn't want them to eat through in the fridge. Cause otherwise they just eat through it. I mean, they were crazy. They ate through like tin foil and yeah, there were some determined little ants, but yeah, they would just get everywhere.
I'm trying to think if there were any like big kind of wildlife things. And there, was, there wasn't anything like in Brazil, like jaguars or like lions or bears, I don't know. But, uh, but yeah, there was like a lot of snakes and stuff like that, so it was fun.